Hi friends, I'm Anzur Siddiqui, SQL Server DBA. Today we are going to discuss about SQL Server authentication modes. Authentication is the process of verifying the credentials and if it is correct then allowing uh, to access the database and its components. Only valid uh, identity will be granted the access to the, the database server. Any user who provides correct login ID and password are granted access to SQL Server. So it is very important to manage the login details properly and secure the same. SQL Server also trusts Windows authentication and once uh, valid creden credentials are provided it grants access. SQL Server uh, can be configured in two authentication modes. Uh, first is Windows authentication mode and second is SQL Server and Windows authentication mode. Okay, so I'll show you on uh, SQL Server Management Studio. Okay, in Windows authentication mode, only genuine Windows authenticated users are granted access. When user tries to log in, SQL Server instance verifies the Windows uh, a login and grants the access. In SQL Server and Windows authentication mode, both type of uh, user that is SQL Server and Windows authenticated uh, users are verified and permitted to access the server. Uh, you can choose uh, either Windows authentication mode or SQL Server uh, and Windows authentication mode at the time of SQL Server installation. You can change this setting any time uh, after installation also. So I'll just show you uh, uh, different uh, steps. Okay. So how uh, you can uh, make the changes, you can uh, right click on database instance, go to properties, now select security. Now in security page you can see uh, the server authentication, you have two uh, modes, Windows authentication mode and SQL Server and Windows authentication mode. So basically uh, if you are selecting this then Windows authentication mode uh, uh, users will be able to log in and if you have selected this then both the users SQL Server logins and Windows uh, logins will be able to access the database okay once you have changed server uh, authentication mode it will prompt you to restart, restart the SQL Server okay so right now this is second option is selected SQL Server in Windows authentication mode if we select this one okay I, I'm just showing you a uh, example okay and once you'll click ok it will prompt you some of your configuration changes will not take effect until SQL Server is restarted so you have to restart SQL Server just click on ok okay so it is done now again uh, right click on instance go to properties click on security now you can see Windows authentication mode is selected so during SQL Server installation when you set SQL Server and Windows authentication mode uh, then SA login is enabled and suppose at this one if you selected then Windows login is enabled and if you will select only Windows authentication mode then SA login is disabled and we have to manually activate it if you want to use it okay so uh, Windows authentication is normally performed by Kerberos protocol so I'll just select SQL Server and Windows authentication mode because I'm using uh, both the logins. I'll just click on OK. Okay, click on OK. Now this is selected. So if you like my video, you can subscribe to uh, my YouTube channel. Okay, or you can uh, visit to my website sqlserverlog.com. So I have written this article. You can go through it. SQL Server Authentication Mode and uh, uh, subscribe to newsletter or join me on Facebook. If you have any query, okay, you can uh, leave a reply. Thank you.